Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back and we're doing a best of three Strixhaven draft. All right, so we have Grape Shot and Accomplished Alchemist. I'm not going to first pick those. Basic Conjuration is not a bad lesson, but I don't know if I want that either. Might just want the Devouring Tendrils. Very solid one-sided removal spell with more upside on top of that for two mana. Probably take that. Rip Apart is gold, but it's also removal. Doesn't require a creature, but I'd still rather take the Tendrils, I think. And then I like Guiding Voice. I like Leyline Invocation. Poet's definitely playable. Drought I like. But let's take the Tendrils. Get the one-sided removal. All right, pick two. Well, we've got some options here. In green, we have Aether Helix. In Witherbloom, there's Inkling Summoning, Silver Quill Pledge Mage, Quandrix Pledge Mage. Uh, rare Flame Scroll Celebrant, which is good. I mean, mono green wise, we could just take the Pledge Mage because you can still be Witherbloom. Yeah, you can still be Witherbloom or you can be Quandrix. Whereas if I take the more powerful Aether Helix, which is very good because it deals with token creatures, which are very, very popular in this format. If I take the Helix, it puts me more towards a Quandrix direction. But it is an uncommon effect, and it's very strong. I can't stress enough. This is like a removal spell for a lot of things, especially all the summoning spells, too. It's like a removal spell plus a regrowth. I think we have to take it. That effect is too good to pass up on. All right, pick three. Uh, demonstrates how you get punished for that. Because now we probably just take the Inkling Summoning which would put us more in a Witherbloom direction. Otherwise, Amplomancer, which is just kind of an unexciting two-drop. But Summoning is just a great lesson, so we probably want to take that over, like, Rip Apart. All these red cards in here, we're kind of far away from that based on our first two picks. And none of them are quite worthy of just swapping right into Lure Hold now. I'll take the Summoning. So we can take the intro to Annihilation. It's another kind of just safe pick. There's Cram Session, Negate, which is good. But intro to Annihilation is just, yeah, solid lesson to get. And we'll see what wheels. Maybe we will go into Lower Hold. We'd have to abandon our first two picks, but in the meantime, we can build a solid toolkit of lessons and figure it out. Well, Lash of Malice is a pretty solid uh, Wither Bloom or Silver Quill card. Otherwise, yeah, still seeing some lore hold flowing. There's Zephyr Boots, which I could take. I prefer the removal. I mean, if we want to play Inkling Summoning, we have to be uh, Wither Bloom anyway. Or I could take the Bayou Groff, which is a fine card. It's good in Wither Bloom. Enthusiastic Study is good. I'll take the Lash of Mouths. Can't really go wrong with one mana removal for the most part. All right. Mage Hunter's Onslaught, pick six. That's a good sign. Might be just Wither Bloom. Bayou Groff in here and Biblioplex assist, uh, Assistant, rather. Other options for us, but hard to go wrong with the Onslaught. Ooh, Necrotic Fumes, another Groff, and Moldering Karak in here, and another Flame Scroll Celebrant. Well, I already have Intro to Annihilation, but I'm kind of okay taking the Necrotic Fumes. Moldering Karak is very good, too. I'll take the Necrotic Fumes. It's a solid lesson. Another Aether Helix. Pick eight, no less. wonder if we if we get the commons back, I might just be okay splashing for them. Uh, well, there's also Campus Guide. I'll take the Helix, the second one, see if we find the fixing for it. So we can take Invocation. Fortifying Drought is at its best in Withered Bloom because of life gain synergies. I might be okay taking that. Arrogant Poet is certainly playable as well. And the Invocation. I'll take the Drought. It's an uncommon. I don't get to play with it often. All right. We can take Campus Guide now over Essence Infusion. And that opens up the, the opportunity to splash these Aether Helix, which I think is still pretty good for us. Can only bring back permanence, right? That's all right. Take the Archway Commons. More opportunity to splash. Otherwise, we could take the Spectre. But I'll take the Archway Commons, get the fixing out of the way now. All right, now we can take Witherbloom Campus. And suddenly the mana base is actually pretty good for splashing helixes. So 
So we can take another Witherbloom campus. I'm okay with that. I'll take it over the Bayou Groff. Bayou Groff is at its best in in Witherbloom, but we get it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I'm happy to take them. They're good. So Pestilent Cauldron is, is actually a good card, and we could probably use the Pests for like, like, like Groff or what? I don't know. Restorative Burst is actually good, but probably just want the Mage Duel. It's really hard to go wrong with Solid Removal, and Mage Duel is definitely that. Cauldron is good. It's a strong effect, but yeah, like I said, we already have the Ether Helix. I'll take the Mage Duel. Let's get the cheap removal. The value removal. All right, Baleful Mastery is good removal. There's also Rise of Exodus and Blood Researcher. Tendrils, not so much. I'll take the Baleful Mastery. It exiles too. I guess this does too, but it's more expensive. I do want some learn cards though. We've got already a three good lessons with no learn but it's tough to go wrong with baleful master you can protect yourself for two mana in a pinch which is really nice here i think is an easy pest summoning because i could main deck this if i don't end up with learn cards i can main deck it and i might main deck it anyway with double bayou graf but we'll see for now it'll be in the side all right, Onslaught number two or another Inkling Summoning or another Fortifying Drought. We'll take the Onslaught. Very creature light at the moment, but in a pinch, I'm okay with actually playing the Summonings. All right, Bookworm is pretty sweet. Could take another Mage Hunter's Onslaught or Mortality Spear. I guess I'd go Spear over Onslaught, but do we just go Removal over Bookworm? I mean, Bookworm is sweet. It doesn't really need the Ether Helix. Not that it's bad with it, but it doesn't need it. I mean, it's a solid finisher. We already have a couple Bayou Groff as finishers, though, in the summonings. Removal-wise, we have Lash, Tendrils. That's three, four, five. We already have, like, six removal. I'm going to take the Bookworm. There's two solid removal spells in there, but... Bookworm is a very good finisher, and then we just immediately get a Mortality Spear anyway. All right, I'll take it. Ten the Pest is cool. I don't know if we have the... It's good with Bayou Groff. How much life gain do we have for Researcher? That's one, two, three. To be honest, four. We don't have as much as I'd like. This is certainly... The archetype for it and we need creatures we probably just take the researcher because we're still pretty creature light even with the the summoning so i could take the campus it's just more ways to splash for helix all right i'll take it over ingredient servant is good we'll take it i mean i shouldn't say it's good it's just if we're in need of creatures and we wouldn't mind gaining life like, even little random synergies of Servant into Mortality Spear is pretty sweet. Alright, we'll take another Blood Researcher. Alright, getting all the synergy cards. That's good. Gonna have to main deck the Lessons, maybe. Certainly main decking the Pest Summoning. I don't have any problems doing that. Got another Helix, huh? Or we could take Plum the Forbidden. Maybe I just do all these Helix. I do think they're very good. We'll see. It may not end up being worth it, but we'll find out. Guess we could theoretically splash this too, but maybe we just take the Archivist. 13th pick Mortality Spear. I don't even know what to say about that. Honestly, it very much seems like we will not need to splash for Aether Helix, but whatever. So we can take Pledge Mage here. Uh, we could take more removal. We don't have any learn, so I could take the Rise of Exodus. Tendrils has more synergy with the researchers. But Exodus gives us 
Exodus is good. It definitely opens up the possibility of you actually using our lessons. I'm going to take it. I think we might be off Ether Helix. Torrent Sculptor is good too. And we do have, certainly have some expensive instant and sorceries. Or I could just take Flunk. Or the Pledge Mage now. Um, Flunk is premium removal, but I mean, I don't have to run the drought. All right, I'm just going to take all this removal for now and figure it out later. I can count my learn spells as summonings if I find more learn. And I guess we're not splashing Aether Helix, probably. Probably not needing this. Hunt for Specimens, great pickup for us. Taking it over the Lash. It's Body for Bayou Groff plus Fine Summonings. Plus Gain Life randomly sometimes. Could technically take another Bayou Groff. Probably want the Apprentice though, the Life Gain, yeah. With all this removal, Field Trip would be great too. I mean, it ramps us towards Archivist and Bookworm and finds us our summonings. That is pretty good. Could Can only get green off of it. I definitely like Apprentice in here with Double Researcher, though. Yeah, I think we take that. Tough to go wrong. I don't, I don't like Pass and Learn, but... I think we take Professor over Pest Summoning. It's just a better way to finish the game. And we already have a Pest Summoning, so... Hmm. Probably am not going to need the drought. Probably not doing the ether helixes. Probably. I mean, technically we can. We're like at 11 creatures right now. It's still pretty light. Another Mortality Spear. Well, I want creatures, but at the same time, I mean, I'm willing to just run summonings and run just all this premium removal. This, I mean, this is insane. Mortality Spear? It deals with, like, everything. It deals with everything and possibly at a reduced cost. Inkcaster is very good. Cram Session and Emergent Sequence is very good as well. Jeez. I mean, Life Gain is good with Incaster, but I could see taking the Cram Session here. It just synergizes so well with the deck, giving us Life Gain for the Researchers. It's something to do early, and it can give us our Pest Summoning. So it counts as a creature. Gosh, Emergent Sequence is so good too, though. I'm going to go with the Learn card, just because I feel like we need more. All right, Trudge is a fantastic card. We'll take that. With all the life gain we have. Wow, another Tendrils or the Pledge Mage or the Groff. I could see maybe taking the Pledge Mage here. Just because we have so much removal already and we're so short on creatures. All right, we got them both back, which is nuts. Tangle Trap, I guess, for sideboard. It could splash a Cultivator. We're not splashing the Helix, though, so I don't think so. Servin versus a third Groff. Groff probably has a higher chance of making the deck, to be honest. Wow. Well, this deck has plenty of good stuff. Wow. So many goodies in here. So our learn cards also count as uh, creatures. Because we have four lessons too, right? That's pretty sweet. That is cool. Uh, so we have to make six cuts and we can cut... So really, this is a creature that's 17... 
18, 19 creatures. So we can at least cut four creatures. Campus Guide can probably go if we're not splashing. We don't need it. You could see cutting the colony. You could see cutting the archivist. She like colony. Eh. Could cut the servant instead. Well, this has reach though, which is nice, and it can be a four-four. But servant, we don't have that many life gain synergies in here anyway, so we probably don't need the servant. Probably rather do the colony. So now we could cut one more creature. Maybe it's the colony anyway. So that way we have 13, 14, 15 creatures. And then we just have to cut two non-creature spells. Although this is really like a five drop, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Jeez. Hmm. Could cut the Lash of Malice. I actually like it. But when you have as much good removal as we do, you got to make some choices here. And then it's Tendrils maybe versus... Mage Duel. Because all these are more expensive, but... They're all good. Tendrils is so good, though. Maybe the Mage Duel? Mage Duel is so good, too. But we have the life gain, I guess, so probably Tendrils over Mage Duel. I mean, you know you're in good shape when you're cutting Mage Duel, but... I want to keep our lessons, our learns, and lessons, and be able to find our lessons. Wow, this deck is pretty nuts. It's a little bit top-heavy. Six, five, uh, six, five drops, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty top-heavy, and we didn't get any environmental sciences either. It's very top-heavy, looking at it. I could do the campus guide. Honestly, that, that probably is smarter. Maybe this. Okay, I'm actually okay with this. And we'll do the campus, and then color-wise, pretty dead even. This is technically double black. This is double black. And we don't have any actual double green, so we'll do the extra black. Or will we? Yeah, we will. We'll do the extra black. It's a good-looking deck, though. I mean, we have so many good cards that aren't even getting played because we just have way too many good things. So, good problems to have. All right, we'll run it like this. We'll see you round one. All right, round one, we'll keep this. Hmm. I might Baleful Mastery that if they put mana into it. Alright. I'll let him draw.
Let's start hard casting some Bayou Groffs here. Got game one, playing against three color, lower hold Prismari mashup. Didn't see any of the Prismari though, or the blue rather. Sideboard, I mean we actually do have sideboard stuff. We have Tangle Trap for Flyers, we've got a Lash of Malice to kill, I guess Scroll Celebrant, lower hold Apprentice. Um... I really don't need to bring them in, though. It's not like our deck's lacking in removal, so probably just run her back. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a good reason to mulligan it, other than the fact that we don't have any creatures, but, I mean, we probably just... Rock and roll with this hand. Mm, could Baleful Mastery. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. Otherwise, I'm taking four damage. Rise of Extus. All right. Two cards left, plus the lesson. Sure.
I suppose we onslaught. Spear can technically deal with more things and I'd like to do Rise of Exodus on the Pilgrim if possible. What can they get back right now? Well, we probably just spear the warden. Well, I guess we can flunk it. Makes more sense. Yeah, it's fine. And we can Rise of Exodus the Pilgrim. Oh, it's just a flying creature. Yeah, I might block and do Wither Bloom Campus. Especially if they do Access Tunnel. Yeah, that might be the sign we need. Oh, wow. Oh, we're punishing that play dearly. Getting the fumes. So now we can deal with whatever other threat they have. Hmm. Oh, I guess they can... Make that unblockable, huh? All right. Fair enough. Well, I should have done it in response, huh? Guess we can attack. Um, I could do it during upkeep, but I'm not going to. All right, that's cool. We don't need this anymore. No, just remove the stop. There you go. Oh, nice. We'll see for round two. All right, round two, we'll play first. Um, I mean, we have both colors. We have, we probably, we probably keep this. I mean, we definitely get punished if we don't draw lands, but if we do draw lands, this hand looks great. And even if we just draw like hunt for specimens or 
any of our two drop creatures, at least we can get the five fours out there. I think our deck has a lot of them, right? I mean, we're definitely going to get aggroed out if we don't draw lands, but if we do, we're looking good. Um, I probably just play this and willing to trade for a poet. Lavenda, huh? It says flying too. Uh, I guess I can block here. Hmm. Mavinda is real strong, by the way. It's a mythic for a reason. You can cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If the spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs eight more. So your buffs you can just double up at the same rate. Is that right? That's so good. I guess you can only do it once a turn, but still, that's so good. So I'm imagining they've got some real good targeted guiding voice style stuff. I mean, I'm very thankful our deck is chock full of removal because they've probably got a lot of targeted buffs and stuff. Lash of Malice looks pretty good here. Maybe over a onslaught honestly that that i i can totally get behind just slightly lower the keep the removal count high but i mean another thing i could do is maybe drop another creature really does get our creature count pretty low though but If it buys us time, it could be worth it. Like, I could see maybe dropping a Groff, and then... That brings us really to, like, 14 creatures, but then I can keep the Onslaught. Alright. I might do this. I imagine our late game still probably being good enough. We'll find out. Maybe you wanted to wait on that. It's okay.
Alright, that's okay. Better them do it on my turn than their turn. I guess I could have attacked first, but it probably wouldn't double block. You never know. I guess technically the spear deals with more things. All right, off to round three. All right, we'll play first. Um, I think we, we keep because we don't have environmental science, which kind of sucks, but if we can get the pest thing, at least we can get the bayou graph down. So one land really, all right, one land is all we needed. Because now I can do pest summoning into bayou graph, which is at least pretty good. I don't have to do the Bayou Graph earlier either. I, I can do, I can go for the Mortality Spear play instead. Yeah, I definitely want to kill Rutha. She's too good. And now we're like a land away from at least casting our other dudes, so that's good. Um, I could have done Groff, I could have actually done Groff plus Spear there. That might have been, that might have been a deadly mistake. We'll see. I guess I can hard cast them now though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
And I guess I'm beating down harder now with these things. Specimens can find our necrotic fumes or intro to annihilation. So we have access to even more removal. Which is cool. Sure. It's actually fine. We'll pay the full price. I mean, these pests have done some serious work for us now. So... Guess we attack. Yeah, that's cool. Warden can get back. Pigment Storm. And they would have the mana to cast it. Um, so we probably kill the Warden. Before I recast the Pledge Mage. want the summoning to be honest. Uh, I feel like they probably have a spell though so I'm just gonna attack with all of them see what happens. So I don't want to cast tendrils and then have them do something to pledge mage so I'd rather just see how they block. I'm willing to lose a pest if I have to. Sure. Actually, one mana shy of that, huh? Let's, uh, hmm. 
So we can get two points of damage in here. But the Apprentice is clearly the better card, so... I think we just try and Tendrils here. See what they have. Alright. And then we'll hard cast that. Well, they found something they like. Hmm. Back lore hold command. That makes sense. I could get back heated debate and cast it, which also seems kind of important here. But they don't have enough power on board to kill Bookworm. So it's kind of a tough choice for them. It's not like they're blocking well here either. Yeah, they kind of have to do that to kill the Groff. They're attacking? All right. Well, that I wasn't expecting, I guess. I could have gotten in one extra point of damage by... Attacking with the pests, but I don't know if that's better. Alright, well, they're playing Prismari with Lorehold, and they've got some good stuff in there. Heated Debate, Burying Books, Rutha's Great, Pigment Storm, so multiple Burying Books. Could make our removal like, uh, could make the Tendrils worse. Like, I'm wondering... Would it, it might actually be more in our interest to just play the Lash of Malice instead of the Tendrils. Tendrils has great synergy here, but at the same time, I don't want to have to, I don't want to deal with them having open mana and doing crazy stuff. So I think Lash of Malice actually makes a lot more sense because it can even deal with Indestructible. It kills Apprentice, it kills Pledge Mage, it kills Conspiracy Theorist, it kills Pass Caller Trickster. Like overall, it just seems very important here. So. We'll bring that in, I think, instead of the Tendrils. Tangle Trap is another option I can do. It deals with at least just two of the creatures we've seen so far. I think with the amount of other spot removal we have, that's probably not necessary to do anything else. Uh, Archivist actually does look good against Pass Caller. That's kind of cool. It can just block it all day. But once again, all the removal we have, we probably just stick to the plan here and and go for it. I'm always surprised how good Bookworm turned out. It's basically like the Palaka Worm of this set. The sand is admittedly a little bit slow, but we'll go for it. Oh, that's a good draw. I mean, rather have a land, I guess, but... Oh, perfect. Uh, guess we can attack. We can always get that back, so I'm cool with this. Sure. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Alright, I'm going to go for it.
one card left. All right. Lore hold command. Yeah. It's probably a smart way to do it. Hmm, that's a good one. So, they're going to net a 4-4, and they get an elemental summoning, so... Two cards they drew panned out pretty well for them. Mm, I guess we'll do this one. Quite a few circumstances for us to lose this game the way we're going to lose it, but it's how it went down. Not much to say. We basically just had to get stuck on four mana for like eight, nine turns, something crazy like that. Yeah. Too little, too late. Can play this block too, we still die. Alright. Well. That is one way to lose. Yeah, we got through 18 cards with... 17 cards with 4 lands. I don't know how probable or improbable that is. I have no idea. We were looking amazing there for a little bit, though. Just amazing. But, lore hold command, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Honestly, the commands in all of them, except the Witherbloom, are, like, super dirty. Lore hold is definitely one of the best ones. Right next to the uh, uh, Quandrix one. Alright, we'll play first. That's a keep. Last time I kept the Bookworm hand, that didn't pan out for me though. if I want to lash a mouse the trickster I'd rather do it to like a spectacle mage or something Hmm. 
Like, I could have done the cram session too, but I'm kind of okay with this. Can do pigment storm, maybe. Still puts him in a relatively challenging spot, I feel like. Also, a land away from cram session plus trudge return plus play, which is not bad. At least the trudges can trade with half of an elemental masterpiece, and they come back, which is good. What do they have for six mana? Oh, pass caller. I guess that's a good one. Oh, with no return. I see. Huh. Just so they can... Interesting. Alright. Well. I'm gonna allow it. Um, at six life, I can get removal here because I have plenty of creatures. All right, we'll do the intro to Annihilation. Personally, I think that's the wisest choice because I still have a lot of bodies here, and I don't know. I think it's just a good idea because intro to Annihilation also buffs Researcher with the Pledge Mage out there. And it exiles, so they can't even, like, lure hold command and do anything that way. Or I should say they can't make it indestructible. So, I'm doing The Apprentice instead of the intro to Annihilation because, yeah, now they just die. Alright. Cool. Well, got the draft. Deck was crazy. I feel like I've drafted just absolutely bonkers Witherbloom decks in this format. Like... When the when the Witherbloom deck is open, you just get so much removal that it almost doesn't feel fair at times. Where you're like, how is this possible that I have three Mortality Spears, two Mage Hunters Onslaught, a Flunk, Tendrils, I'm sideboarding Lash of Malice and Mage Duel because of Rise of Exodus in here. Like the amount, Baleful Mastery, the amount of removal this deck has is absurd. On top of all the removal I just listed, we also have Cram Session and Hunt for Specimens, which find Necrotic Fumes and Introduction to Annihilation. It's like the, the removal is never-ending. So in terms of just like one-on-one -on -one creature combat, I feel like Witherbloom just does extraordinarily well. You can just remove creatures all day. And there was more than enough fat in here with the triple Bayou Graf, which plays surprisingly well. It's just, you know, at worst, five mana, five fours. And then the Pledge Mages and Bookworm to finish it off. Yeah. So, cool. This deck did really well and played against some pretty tough opponents, I thought, too. So, let's open some, some packs here. Back one, pick ones. All right. 
Pack one, pick one. I would take study break for the learn effect. I think that's worth it. Learn is very good. Pack one, pick one. Uh, I twitch is very good. I'd probably still go tendrils. One sided removal with upside and synergistic with wither bloom. I'd take that over learn. Pretty much, it seems like premium removal you take over learn. But learn really does, for me, go very far. This one's an easy heated debate. Just monocolor, strong removal. Um, not much else to say. All right. Well, I've got a soft spot for Pigment Storm, but I could totally see the argument for just taking the Eye Twitch here since it's so much cheaper. I think I'd probably go Eye Twitch. I actually love Pigment Storm too, but um, I think Eye Twitch is probably worth taking over Pigment Storm. Just the fact that it's a flyer, it can block and then still learn for you. It's a lot of upside. Here I would take Flunk, I think. Just cheap, solid removal. Much better than how I read it. When I first read it, I didn't think it would play as well as it does play. But yes, it's very good. Here we might just first trip the Rescuer. First pick the Rescuer, rather. There is Prismari Apprentice as well, which is very good. But it's gold. And Rescuer is just solid. And you can play it in Silver Quill or lower hold and be pretty happy with it. So, all right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the draft. We will see you for the next one.